welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i installed this braided wig that i made about a week ago on the left shows all the pictures of the wig that i posted on my instagram account it shows you different ways that the wig can be styled i didn't film the making of the wig but i do have some clips of the process so before i show you guys me installing the wig i'm going to show you guys clips of what the wig looked like before and the process of it this wig took me a very long time to make. It did not take me less than a day. This wig is 50 inches long and I'm a slow braider. So comment below your guesses on how long you think it took me to make this wig. If you'd like to make your own braided wig, you'll be needing a full lace wig. It doesn't have to be long, only 10 inches, just like the one I'm showing you now. The first clip I showed you was the full lace wig without anything being done to it. Now I'm showing you guys what the wig looked like when it's being bleached. When you're bleaching a full lace wig, the bleach should be applied everywhere where the lace is going to be shown. Now this is what the wig looks like after it's been bleached. By the way, this is my first time working on a full lace wig or even doing a braided wig. Now I'm showing you guys what the wig looks like as it's being braided row by row. As you can see, I kept the same consistency throughout the whole wig with the braids. I really wanted the braids to be small and neat and laying flat. Continue watching the last two clips of the braids and then we're going to get started with installing the wig. Before installing the wig, I'm showing you guys what the wig looks like when it's finished, the inside and outside. Inside the wig has three clips and a band to make sure that the wig is secured on your head. Now I'm going to put the wig on my head just to show you guys what the wig looks like without the lace being tinted. This is a transparent full lace wig, so as you guys can see, the lace does not match my skin tone at all, so it has to be tinted. If you guys would like to see how I tinted my lace, check out my other video on how to tint lace. It's the same sets as how I would tint the lace on a closure. So now that I tinted my lace, you guys can see that the lace now matches my skin tone way better than it did before. As you guys can see, I am not gluing this wig down because I personally do not like to place glue on my hairline. So I will be attempting to make this wig glueless. First, I'm going to start with cutting the lace I won't be using off the hairline of the wig in a zigzag motion so it can look more natural. When you're cutting this part of the lace off, you want to go as close to the hairline as possible like you see me doing.
This is what the wig looks like up against my skin. Now we're gonna get started with the baby hairs. I placed the wig on the mannequin head to cut the baby hairs because when it's on my head, I can't see clearly if I'm cutting the baby hairs too short or too low. So this way, when it's on the mannequin, I can see exactly what I'm cutting. The shorter you cut your baby hairs is the better. It'll look more natural. Now that I cut the lace off the wig and I cut my baby hairs, I place the wig back on my head just to see exactly where I want to place the band. As you can see, I push the wig a little bit behind my ears so it can fit better for my head. I sewed one side of the band behind the ear part of the wig and the other side will be sewn the same place on the opposite side, right there. Here's a better look on where I sewed the band on each side of the wig. When I placed the wig on my head, you guys will see how much more secure the band made the wig. As you guys can see, the wig now hugs my hairline and I only have to worry about the ears part of the wig staying down. To make the side stay down, I'm going to be using mousse, but if you guys would like, you can use got to be glued gel or got to be glued free spray to hold the sides down. If you guys would like to see a video with me installing a wig with got to be glued and free spray, please comment down below if you guys would like to see it. Now I'm just pinning up the hair to get ready to style the baby hairs and lay the sides of the wig down. To make the sides stay down, I'm going to be using mousse to do my edges as I normally would on any of my other wigs and tying it down to dry. The mousse will give the lace a hold on your skin and it will stay down if you're doing it the right way. What I mean by doing it the right way is styling your baby hairs as you want and tying it down with a silk wrap. You shouldn't lift up your silk wrap unless your baby hairs are completely dried because if you lift it up while it's still wet then it won't stick down like you want it to. I really didn't know exactly how I wanted my baby hairs and I was in a rush so I just did anything. As you guys can see, I'm struggling with swooping my baby hairs. I really don't know how to do baby hairs on myself. Well, it just never comes out as nice as I would do it on someone else. So when you're done styling your baby hairs, you're going to tie it down with your silk wrap and remember to not lift it up until your baby hairs are completely dried. This is the outcome of the hairstyle, but the baby hairs isn't how I wanted it, but I was in a rush so this had to work. But overall, the hairstyle came out really nice and as you can see, the sides of the wig stayed down using only mousse. This wig is so long, I can't even show you guys the full length. But continue watching and I'm going to show you guys more clips of how the wig looks installed. This is actually the second day I installed it. I was able to fix the baby hairs how I wanted and this is how it came out. This is the end of the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below what else you guys would like to see and thanks for watching.